Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to achieve the perfect summer sun-kissed look and then it looks like the Kim K Met Gala look but trust me, that wasn't the vibe I was going for If you think um, you want to perfect your game, stay tuned and let's get right into the video Starting off with the TM Essential Body Oil, I'm just prepping her skin to look all glowy and all set. I really like this rich skin vibe when your skin starts to look really rich and healthy. So I'm applying now, I'm not applying the TM Essential on the glow body oil as well to our shoulders and just to make it look all glowy and ready for the summer. Using the Melanie Mills Illuminator in rose gold i'll be applying it on her shoulder and also on her face like around the, prim the premises of her face where light normally it's just like the t-zone that's where i'll be applying the illuminator and then i'll blend it in so it sinks into the skin to give that rich glowy vibe like when the glow is coming underneath your skin Prepping her face with the MAC Oil Control Lotion. Now I'm priming her skin with the Umbrella's Lit Cream Concentrate. I don't know if I pronounced it well. Using this tool to push in the primer so it sinks in, into the skin. Now this tool is really, really amazing, guys. You have no idea how, ama how amazing this tool is. And now it's time for the skin and I'm mixing in two foundations. The Lancome Foundation and also the infallible one going in with the LA Pro concealer in beautiful bronze now I am bronzing her skin with this concealer I am not contouring or low lighting like some people would say um, I'm just bronzing her skin with that shade first before I contour now I'm contouring using the Mac Studio Fix foundation in NW55 to contour and then add brick to brick contour and bring back shadow to a face i'm using the zaron concealer in nubian now this particular process is something i like to do a lot like one if they have um under eye dark circles i do this but generally i just do this to like color correct so i use the shade of their concealer first before using a lighter shade to highlight now i color correct then i light but i don't use the orange color corrector except if it's needed so that's what i do so basically i'm just switching blenders i'm using the tiny blender under our eyes because so, that big one is really really just too big sometimes for me and then i don't want to hurt my client or hurt the person i'm applying makeup on yeah so i just want something that will be convenient and then relaxing for them as well so you should you guys should try this step now i'm going in with the new beauty concealer in 043 to highlight this is shade that i light with to bring back light and also accentuate those um places that light will normally eat your face Now I'm going in with that same MAC Studio Fix foundation in NW55 to low light or contour a nose uh, basically to just snatch a nose give it a snatch tiny feel uh, I'm taking the concealer or rather the foundation um, under her brows as well to create that illusion that she has a very slim nose Now I'm going in with the Benai setting powder. I'm using two blenders. The first one is to blend out any creases under our eyes before I use the big one to set. Or I bake as well. Yeah, I set and then I bake. So I push it into the skin and then go in with the small one to bake. Just do that basically where I highlighted. So After that, I 
I'll go in with the melanin powder to set the rest of her face so it doesn't crease, it doesn't move, it doesn't shift throughout the whole day even though you're glowing for the gods. I'm going in with this mud powder. It just does uh, it's, it's, it's just like uh, it's a step I do to brighten her face. This is the of face design to so now define the contoured area. And then I go in with the same setting powder to carve out the nose how I want it to look. Now I'm using the BC Lamb I did this brow pencil to just draw a brows and fill them in to look natural. Snatch but natural. That's why I said natural. I'm basically just filling them in using light strokes. Like I'm very very light handed with this step. Like extremely light handed. I don't want anything too dark so I will always go it very 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 light. This step is very important to me. I have to be extremely light and careful. Using the same Liban Beauty Concealer that I highlighted with, I'm just using that to clean up her brows and to further snatch the brows. Setting the under of the brows with the Benai setting powder so nothing moves. And I'm going in with the TM Essential Brow Tama. Now, this stuff is really good. Like, really good, guys. If you can get it, I would really suggest you guys can get it. You guys should get it, rather. Like, it's really good. So, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick to highlight a chain. I'm really sorry, guys, that I I lost the footage of this eye makeup but if you guys like it and want me to recreate it by all means i will do that for you guys what what are friends for but please like share the video to your loved ones and friends and even your enemies just share it to everyone subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you click the bell icon so you get notified whenever i post like i said i post every single week so always stick around until next time Bye guys.